what is going on everybody matt martin outdoor designs <clears throat> so it's aeration overseed time and what an absolute nightmare it is we look back on the days and it's been since the first weekend of august we've had one inch of rainfall and this is now the first weekend of october so one inch in eight weeks and we're into aeration overseed time uh, and this is the issue we're running into yard looks great right coming in good what about these corners over here not coming in good at all let's take a look and see what's going on you see that cup you see that cup out there all right let's check it out we'll turn that zone on the box here oh that's the AT&T box not the hunter box it's got a hunter x core system uh, i've adjusted the run times uh just before i started filming i changed it to four times a day and uh a light sprinkle so anyway let's do a manual i got the first zone on for six minutes four times a day all right let's go up here and see what kind of output we were getting so we got an NPR head here, we got an NPR head here, and we've got a spray right here. All right, let's walk around this way and see exactly what kind of coverage we're getting here. So what is this? That is a van four, so this is gonna cover four feet, two, three, four. It's gonna throw to here. What is this? This is a busted van eight. This van is blowing, spraying directly into the ground right here. It is not hitting this area right here. Do you see that? That's powder dry. Over here, we can see new grass blades coming in. Little bitties, little bitties down here. Some little thin little wispy ones, thin little wispies. You see how moist this ground is? Look at that. I just ran this irrigation system to, to do a little diagnosis. Okay. And then we move over here. Irrigation system just ran. I see some aeration holes. We see lots of seed down on the ground. There's lots of seed. But look at how much moisture comes to the surface when I push here. Look how much moisture is in the ground, period. It's dust. This is dust bone dry bone dry so what we're running into is where we're getting water consistently regularly we're getting grass that looks like this anywhere look at all this new grass in here anywhere we are not getting adequate irrigation coverage we're getting this we're getting this I ran this, this zone right here to see how much water I collected. Do you see that? I got some sprinkles on the side right here. There's, there's no water in there whatsoever. Do you see? So this is what we're running into this season. Um, and in fact, I ran that zone for nine minutes and I collected sprinkles on the side, but not enough to put a viable drop in, this, in the bottom of the cup. So, needless to say, a lot of people aren't happy. I'm not happy with the results I'm getting so far, but does this mean aeration overseed is wasted? No, what it means is, is we're not gonna get a big response till we start getting rain. When we start getting rain, things are gonna take off like normal. We'll look like the good guys, uh, but in the meantime, we're gonna look like the homeowner's worst enemy because we can't get grass to grow and it's hard to get grass to grow in here we got all kinds of new grass coming in here new grass coming in to no new grass whatsoever none and there's no moisture in the ground moisture lots of moisture look it just leaves a fingerprint in the ground moisture none there's no fingerprint 
No moisture. This is the Lampson irrigation system. I dialed it back to six because I'm going to run it four times a day. Let's see what we're looking like here. So right here, how much soil moisture do we have? That is not even a quarter inch. And this is ground up. I ran it. I took my seed, I put it down, and I used a garden weasel to work this into the ground. If you don't know what a garden weasel, weasel is, you need to call Pete Denny with GCI Turf Services. Um, this is how much water we collected. That does not, that much water was collected. A couple drops. Less than a quarter ounce. In this size container, it should have been more than that. So, how do we go about fixing this? This head right here needs to be leveled up. I don't know if you can see that. Instead of it being level, it's wonky this way. So instead of it having a good throw angle this way and a good throw angle that way, this is shooting right into the ground and that's casting out way over that way. So, do you know how to fix that? Let's see. Let's see if I can fix it. Do I have a trenching shovel? And I'm not charging a diagnostic fee to go through the irrigation system and do this. At this point, I'm doing it for the sheer fact of garnering, garnering results. Because uh, it's, it's weighing on my mind. And uh, if I can do this to make it no longer weigh on my mind, I'm going to do it. Push that down behind it. Now, let's see what kind of throw we get. We moved that thing about an inch, about an inch to make it level. Now let's see if we get this area right here from there to here. Just to check, let's put our cup here. Manual one station, station one, on, six minutes. Let's see what we get. I also applied a moisture manager today. It's a, basically, it's just a wetting agent. It's baby shampoo is what it is. And I soaked it down real good in this area right here. This already has plenty of water, but out towards the outskirts over here, it is not getting good water. So that will help that seed be able to retain water. It's a very expensive product, so it's not, feasible to be able to do that to all your products. But in this particular instance, I deemed it doable. Whoa! Now, now we are getting throw over to here. It is soaking this cup. It is soaking this cup. It already has the same amount of water we had previously in there and it's been on for five seconds. That little ir change in the irrigation system is going to change. This is going to be a deal breaker for this yarn. We'll be able to grow grass here. That simple change means we're going to have grass here. Look at that. We're getting great output on this side. I still want to change this van nozzle here, but uh, I mean, for, for now, that's getting it good. How about them apples? Look how moist that ground is already. It's already working in there deeper than it did after six minutes of run time. Now, that being said, that change there is not going to fix what's going on back here. What's going on back here is we've got a van nozzle with an NPR nozzle and we got a rotor over here. 
to hit this far corner. We got a rotor somewhere along here. That's another NPR. Here it is. We got 100 PGP. That barely reaches this. So, what do I do in that situation? That's why I've cranked it up to four times a day, five minutes of zone, you know, through the, the points of the day. Seven o'clock, 12 o'clock, three o'clock, and seven o'clock. And hopefully, that will be enough moisture to get us to germinate in this, uh, in this drought we're in. Because right now, I mean, any way you look at it, we're screwed. Irrigation is, if, if nobody's ever told you this, irrigation is only a supplement. It is not rainfall. Somehow, some way that has been lost through the years that irrigation replaces the need for rainfall. That is not true. We still need rainfall. The good Lord knows exactly what he's doing when he give us rainfall. Still not super happy with that. There we go. So, the whole thing I'm trying to get at here is that you can't buy, can't buy patience it's hard to sell patients, especially when, you know, you're trying to renovate an area like this and it's not getting adequate moisture. So what do you do? You do your best to explain it to the customer. You know, it's gonna come, it comes out every year, but it's buying that patience. So anyway, just wanted to take you through that where how I test for, you know, why I'm getting germination, why I'm not getting germination, and how to test for it. So, anyway, y'all, hope your aeration overseas season is going good. I know it's uh, it's been brutal out here, so best of luck, everybody. All right, well, I'm gonna check that one off my list as a success because this has been 14 days. 18 days since we seeded it and still can't get grass to germinate in some spots and i used my garden weasel here again if you don't know what a garden weasel is called pete denny he'll explain it to you he'd love to talk to you about garden weasels i'm guessing sorry i said that pete uh about about a week ago i went over it with the garden weasel I seeded, then went over it with the garden weasel. So anyway, I'm going to call this customer and tell them what I did, what I found out, and uh, at least the way I've, I've, I've gone to correct the issue in the front. In the back, I don't know what to do. I really don't. I'm, yeah, I do know what to do. I'd like to have my irrigation guy come out here and work on it, but uh, at, at this point, I don't think he's willing to, to do that. So I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll ask him to get a, a second opinion on the system. I just, it, irrigation systems aren't my area of expertise. I can spot when we're getting good coverage and when we're not in here, I could spot that we were not getting good coverage because you've got a perfect semicircle I don't know if you can even see it from my truck, but you can almost see where those band nozzles have that curvature to them of a, a pretty green grass. So good luck with your aeration overseeding because this is not easy. Y'all have fun.